some of the people who started TV 33 take a look back. November 21st, 1953. Fort Wayne gets its first look at local television. On that day, WKJG made the transition from radio to TV. Hilliard Gates helped found WKJG Radio in 1947, and he was also a leader in getting the TV station on the air in 1953. And I had written a short opening, and I remember the first lines. I said, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. These are the first pictures from WKJG television, and you are making history. And when it proceeded to welcome everybody, we had a live interview. Uh, during the show. We had several live interviews. It went 30 minutes. And um, I think there's a milestone, too. The first commercial came at 8 o'clock after the half-hour opening show, and the first commercial was for Peter Eckrich and Sons. We wanted to be simple. We wanted to reflect the quality of our community. We wanted to do it as much public service as we could and immediately build a, a reputation in the community and provide service to the community. When TV 33 first hit the air on November the 21st, 1953, it meant that WKJG radio journalists had to learn a new craft. For the first time in Fort Wayne, people sitting in their living rooms could get a look at news events and the men who brought them the stories. Jack Gray started as a news anchor soon after TV 33 went on the air. He says back then, being a newscaster meant, for the most part, you were a one-man band. We covered our own stories. We wrote our own stories. We produced our own material. We put it in order. Uh, we took it into the studio and we delivered it. And uh, if you had a good director, and, and we were blessed with some real good guys. That, uh... Gray says since the news staff only included a handful of people, they worked seven-day weeks and long days. Uh, I can recall many, many nights uh, sitting out here uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning after having covered a fatal of some kind. It might have been a murder, a traffic fatality. Uh, communication uh, just went, just, you know, uh, exploded. Uh, the kinds of things you have today um, are just mind-boggling to me. You know, we used to, as I said, we, we start out with a Polaroid land camera. Uh, today, you're going live on a newscast. You know, you're saying uh, downtown Fort Wayne, so-and-so, and at the courthouse, here's George. And, you know, there's George standing there, and, you know, we didn't have any luxury like that. I love this business, and I always have. I love Fort Wayne. Um, I, you know, I, I don't think the business is what it appears to be at home sometimes. It, it, it is work. There, there are people that think things just happen and, and we appear on the screen and, and do them and there's a, a lot of homework involved but it's fun and it uh, I say fun that you feel like you're a part of a community literally you've got your finger on the pulse of the community you know things happening the newsroom is normally abreast of everything and uh, I don't know I'm gonna really miss that part of it but it's it's an interesting business and We've been doing a lot of reflecting on 35 years. Well, Technology certainly yeah. has made things so different. I sit and look around this very studio where, uh, where I started 35 years ago, and a lot of people that are even joining us today uh, were here and been working a long time before that. And some things are the very same. Ray says the secret to future new success is to keep it simple. And we get so hung up in our in our technology and our projection of perfection in this life that sometimes we fall all over ourselves trying to get to the point. Yeah. I, I, I think we need good, honest, uh, sincere, dedicated people in the news business. And I see some evidence of that here in Fort Wayne, as a matter of fact. And I see some of the other kind, too. Through the years, WKJG held a distinction that later competitors could only envy. I think one of the things a station can be proud of and hold themselves high for the legacy of being a strong radio station in the market and recognizing 
their responsibility as the first television station. Thank you.